Welcome to the Eagle Valley Model Railroad. We're going to continue work on the mountain in this video. And here we've taken a brown acrylic paint. Um, this particular color is burnt cyan. We've added just a little bit of water and alcohol mix to the paint. Uh, nowhere near as much as we did on the black just so it wouldn't run into the deeper cracks and crevices and we, we would maintain our black in those areas. And we're giving a, a good brush over on all of our rock faces. And as the time lapse go by, you can, uh, as the paint dries, you can see it lightens up a good bit to give us a, a dusty dirt looking color. So we go back and, and add just another layer of this same paint. And we continue this process until we get the, the desired color that we want. And then we'll move on to our next color. We're using a full strength paint here. Uh, we didn't cut it with any, any water or any alcohol. The brush has a good bit of paint on it, so it's doing a pretty good bit of coverage. But again, we're not digging down into our cracks and crevices. We want to leave that, uh, the black and the brown wash in those areas. And this color we're using is a light gray. This is a little bit more of the traditional dry brush technique we're doing here. There's still a good bit of paint on the brush. And basically all we're wanting to do is hit those highest most points of our plaster to bring out those highlights. Uh, of course, if, it's, if this part of the process is lighter than you care for, you can always go back and add a little bit of a darker color in some areas to, to darken up. Uh, the process and if it gets too dark turn right back around and do your light colors and until you get the desired look gonna plant some grass here we're using a, a full strength white glue just looking at photo references and different mountain scenes and hill scenes uh, we're laying our glue out as if the, the grass and, and areas are growing down the mountain. Uh, we'll put some uh, patchy areas and uh, really no wrong or right, right way to do this. It's basically uh, what look you're going for and what do you think looks the best for your layout and what you're wanting to get out of it. Um, we don't have a static grass applicator uh, yet, and that is on the, the wish list for the Eagle Valley. And once we get that, we'll utilize that product and uh, further enhance our, our grassy areas. But right now, we're just using the, the, the foam grass cover, and we're actually using a, a blended green it's not just a, a solid green and just the same way we put down our clay uh, we're using the applicator that the, the grass came in and we're just shaking it away this will do exactly like the clay did with um, the material getting saturated with the glue and turning a little bit darker color and just go right back over those areas that are a little bit darker and put you a little bit more uh, cover on and it'll give you that different definition and different uh, look and the, the uniform won't be like a sheet. Getting the old trusty sock out and cleaning up the loose material. Uh, recovering it so we can use it in, uh, in different areas of the layout. And this process and technique works very, very well. 
Uh, you really want to make sure that when you are recovering your grass, that uh, the area was clean before you put your grass down because this will pick up a lot of the trash that's just lying around. So about a year ago, I won a contest, uh, Ethan Vilbro 420, and I won me 25 trees in that contest. I hate to say that it's been a year, but I was really wanting to make sure that the mountain was complete and ready to go before I utilized uh, these great trees these guys made. Uh, they were absolutely awesome. These have been in the packing box the same way I received them. I opened the box, looked in them, saw what kind of what I had, and just didn't want to disturb them. So these things have been sitting in this box for over a year, and they look absolutely wonderful. Decided to utilize um, the different uh, types of trees that they made for us. And right here, we're just getting them out and really just looking at our mountain area, looking at the trees and deciding visually what we wanted where. We have different diameters. We have different heights. We have different species. Uh, these guys did a great job on these, and we're definitely going to utilize them on our mountain. Took an eighth-inch drill bit and... Uh, Went to work. Just kind of took enough time to look over the mountain uh, in correlation with the rocks that we have in place. Um, what do we want to see? How do we want it to look? How dense do we want it? Um, I tried to use the triangle technique or the triangle method or triangle theory that they talk about. Um, putting trees in groups of three in a triangle. Um, it just, it, it makes it look, I don't know, it just does something and it makes it look good. It doesn't have to be the same. Like our first triangle was three different species, three different sizes. They look crazy. Um, but it just breaks up the straight lines. It breaks up the uniformity, I guess, in a way. And just as soon as I say three trees, I got four sitting up on top of the mountain. So go figure. But as we move along, you can really tell if you if you pay attention to it, you really can tell that it it, it really helps with the not having that uniform in a row planted look. And I think it turned out very, very well. I actually wound up using uh, the majority of of the Ethanville Bro 420 trees and only one or two of my own uh, that were made. Uh, they were just, they did a great job on them. I can't say enough about the trees. I hate I, I hate I waited as long to use them, but I'm glad I waited to put them on the Manu Mountain. I, I think they complement and they accent the area perfectly. So again, we're just, uh, we, we mix and match, we put some down, we decide, nah, not there, move it, uh, drill another hole or two, uh, yeah, I like this tree there, no, I don't, and just, just really go through the process of um, how it looks to me and do I like it here, do I want it there, or what have you. It's really up to you on how you want, how you want your layout to look and what you think looks the best. So we've got all our trees planted. we got our grass growing. we got our dirt down. Our rocks are painted. We're really, really close on having this mountain done. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and until next time, happy modeling.